sometimes though um, there's just uh certain times of the year certain months we have a, a spike or an increase in natural deaths um, and we cannot and we should not and we do not allow our staff to be rushed to do a post-mortem examination because when you when you're trying to 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 shortcut some of the system um, the things that are in place the checks and balances that's where you unfortunately have to go back and sometimes exhume a body right so we, we try to balance the need for families to, to lay their loved ones to rest but there's also a need to conduct a thorough debt investigation so that years later, if there's any question about the findings of a debt, we had gone through the, the process. So one of the areas that, or one of the, the ways we can try to minimize the delays is, like I said, increasing the staff of the medical examiner's office so that post-mortems can be conducted um, on a, I want to say higher volume or higher, um, f faster rate, but also not minimizing the quality of the post-mortem examinations. And the, the staff at the medical examiner's office has grown over recent years. Uh, actually, next week, we're hiring a histotechnologist to support the histopathology aspect of um, you know, determining cause of death. And we increased medical examiners uh, a couple of years ago. We hired an, a third medical examiner. So incrementally, uh, we are adding new staff. But it is uh, one of the reasons why sometimes post-mortems are delayed.